My name's Chris Jacobs, I'm a resident here on Waiheke, out the other end towards Rocky Bay, um, and we're here today at Wawata Estate to have a chat about the surrounding seas and oceans of Waiheke Island and how we can perhaps look after them a little better. Now my background is actually in marine tourism, so it's something I've been quite involved in for many, many years, um, with operations up in the Bay of Islands, in Fiji, and to barrier reef out of the wet Sundays. So kind of lived and breathed marine tourism and, and hence the need to look after the oceans um, throughout my entire career. And I feel like it's kind of a natural attachment that someone would have anyway, and particularly if you're living here on Waiheke, it's hard not to um, have the ocean as part of your life. It's all, all the way around us. Certainly over the years and the different environments I've lived in, I have seen uh, deterioration in um, reef quality, for instance, and the amount of rubbish that's in the oceans and general t deterioration particularly of fish species in a number of areas. I think the health of the marine environment around Waiheke Island will be impacted upon by what we're doing here on the island and I think it's very important that as the island grows um, councils and others who participate in that growth um, are keeping ahead of the times and really making sure that we've got really good quality um, effluent treatment systems and the likes. Um, you can't just keep growing at the rate Waiheke is without that kind of consideration taking place or, or we will do damage. So it's much better to prevent it in the first place than try and be repairing it after. Having healthy wetlands is hugely important for the marine environment and so areas that have removed them, uh, the sea quality around those islands or, or coastal areas has certainly suffered. So it's nature's own way of helping cleanse the water and keep pollutants and the likes out of the, the oceans. When we, when we were setting out to do all the design and development of uh, Mawata, the, the environment was very important to us. The bottom here behind me as well, you can probably see there's a very large wetland which we have also restored, um, primarily by just removing weeds so that the correct species can all grow there correctly. I, w I was first taken with the wetlands um, concept when I went to a local government conference a couple of years ago and it told us that only 16% of Waiheke's original wetlands were left on the island. So been pretty special to be able to be a, a part of preserving a, a small part of it. When we're looking at you know our, our future plans for Waiheke uh, and the island and the marine environment that's around it, um, we do need to look with a very watchful eye and make sure that we're preserving what we've got or, or in some instances um, restoring it. I think a lot of it's just plain common sense. It's let's not put things into the oceans that we know don't belong there. It's amazing how quickly nature will come back and restore everything once you start the correct behaviours. So, um, but better still, don't ruin it in the first place. A lot of that's through knowledge and understanding. I think uh, Waiheke, whilst some would probably disagree seeing how busy it is at times, is still really an emerging um, tourism destination and it will continue to grow. Um, it's been quite outstanding growth in the next couple of years. And, and with that comes all sorts of responsibilities for infrastructure. Um, you know, a lot of that's land-based that I'm talking about, but in the end that leads to the health of our seas and oceans as well. And so we need to, you know, balance it between man's enjoyment of the island and all, all the assets that we've got here and protecting the environment. Going forward, I, I, I'd just like to see more of what I think has started, just the consciousness of what's not good for the planet and for the oceans and, and all the steps that are starting to be taken to replace those. The great thing is that we've got generations coming through for whom looking after the earth and everything on it is kind of in their DNA right from the start. Sure, there are plenty of industries still with bad practices, but at least worldwide I think there's a bit of a wake up going on and we're doing our best to try and correct that. Won't, won't happen easily. Um, Waikiki is perhaps ahead of the game because we're a pretty pristine island now. Let's um, 
do our very best to keep it that way.